Hey you guys, um, this week is about the Flint water crisis and uh, our professor gave us a few questions that you guys will be answering and I'll be looking into soon. Um, based off of my opinion, um, for, for the first one, uh, the responsibility for political leaders or anybody in the office for public administration um, I think there's three things um, that is really important is one it being the they have to have integrity. Um, they have to serve. And the next one being the have to serve. And the third one being um, they can't harm others or in a physical or mental way. Um, I think all those all three of those things are very important when it comes to leadership and in, in those uh, positions. Um, you can't be, you can't lie. Yeah, you had to just put it out straight there, however hard it is. Um, you have to be able to serve uh, the community, the people around around you, and providing a better uh, situations for many people out there. That was the reason why you were in place in office for the first place. Um, lastly, you can't intentionally harm or even not intentionally harm others. Um, yeah, I know it's hard to say that you can't not to, but um, um, be, you can, it's it's just a way that we as humans need to live. You know, um, you can't try to benefit yourself to benefit others or benefit yourself to harm others. You know, um, the next thing uh, is that do we need clean water? And I think we do. Um, I was reading more into it uh, that uh, there's a human rights act and that we have we have to have water, um, but there's no act or right to clean water. But I think that we do need clean water. Um, uh, it is very. Um, I was reading even more into it that internationally that it is a right to have access to water as well too and seeing a lot of communities and especially in France and other places as well too they have even more particular ways of like making sure that their water is clean so it, it, it in America it definitely gets iffy here and there and uh, I think it honestly needs to change and uh, yeah they, they are doing a good job and but in some form or way, we need to hold them accountable. Um, so, the human so re rearranging the act to have water and should be made to, clear to having clean water. Um, so yeah. So next up uh, is the Flint water crisis itself. Um, I think honestly, the state of Michigan needs to be held accountable. We put these guys in these positions to make the right ones for a lot of communities in in Michigan. Uh, so honestly, they they need they there was just some form of way of like, oh, you know what? Somebody was making a profit off of this, so honestly, they were in benefit to help themselves so the state of michigan knowing putting themselves and having these people that are running the state of michigan and cutting off their water to the great lakes uh it definitely was not okay so yeah the state of michigan definitely needs to be accountable for this uh whole thing um this cutoff was beneficial to lots of people of high lots of people in the higher positions um, people that made money off of and off of the deaths uh, killed and severe weak, severely weakened humans living in this area, especially the black communities um, that was very overrun in that area. Um, it's kind of hard to see, even uh, hear that like people develop so many diseases just by drinking water, you know, like, eh. It's crazy. It's crazy, honestly. Um, what should the punishment be? Uh, it should be a fine of some sort. Not not hurting the citizens, but it should be a fine of some sort in those 
uh, legislative offices. Um, think of it like, you know, I, I think of it as like a basketball player swearing or doing something provocative um, in in his uh, job or on camera. Um, and they have to pay a fine. So honestly, I think that should happen in for these higher ups in the state of Michigan that are making money and um, all of this. And they should they should definitely pay for it. Um, I would also say uh, partial jail time, too. Um, I don't know. I know it's a stretch because they're not actually murdering. They, but it's 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 people died you know people died in some some form of way if they can't pay the fine there should definitely be jail time you know yeah um and to be honest murder is murder uh i want to say they attempted to kill people um trying they they had a thought that it would have been better for them to take a rent from money or take water from the river but there's there's stuff in place that you should do testing before we we have agencies that are able to like provide this information to these uh public officials or these offices that make these decisions ahead of time to make sure that it's okay you know so why wasn't that utilized why wasn't why why weren't you taking account of, about this? Why weren't you testing this beforehand? So you you being very naive to hurt to the hurt or in the pain and the suffering that you cause people is it's it's just baffling me. So yeah. Um but that's it for me today. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be off next week. But um yeah, I'll see you guys now.